This Twit News special is brought to you from our LastPass studios. Securing every access point in your company doesn't have to be a challenge. LastPass unifies access and authentication to make securing your employees simple and secure, even when they're working remotely. Check it out at lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This is Twit News Special, number 363. Recorded Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. Google's Launch Night In. This Twit News Special is brought to you by LastPass. Let LastPass improve your employees' experience while safeguarding your business from cyber threats. LastPass is the number one password manager. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the annual Pixel Launch. Uh, and Jason Howell from All About Androids joining me. And as uh, has been in the case in the last couple of years, we know everything, so we don't even really need to have an event. But uh, what I'm curious about, Jason, is what you're thinking the title means, given that it's an 11 in the morning event. What is launch night in? Is it about night shooting I or... I, I wish that I had a really good kind of <laughs> guess for you on this one. It's it's baffled me, and I've tried to think about it. Like it almost implies that like ah, oh, let's all get snuggly and cozy up for a, like a movie night. Yeah, but, but it's instead, morning. It's be, exactly, it really makes no sense. And then the care packages that a lot of journalists received had like cozy slippers, <laughs> and I think there was like a thing of tea, like a tea bag in there that you can make. I don't, I have no idea Maybe where they were explain. going with this. <laughs> I'm looking at the you know the stream right now, and they've got a bowl of popcorn in the uh, virtual set, and it says I don't know what is that a calendar that says night in. Um, All right, I, night I, in. I don't know what any of this means. We yeah. do know that we'll see probably a, a Pixel Five, right? Uh, mm -hmm. A new Indeed. Chromecast with uh, Android TV built in and a remote. Ah, uh, Google TV is what they're now going to ah, call it. Okay, that's there you go. Yeah, there, they change it every other year. There's something. You know. <laughs> uh, rumors that there might be a new Nest speaker. Yeah. Um, what else? Audio. Any other surprising events you could? Well, so we've got the Pixel 5, you said, the Chromecast, Google TV, Nest Audio, and then Pixel 4a 5G is okay. the other right. device, right. like a uh, handset that we're expected to find out about. Uh, they, of course, announced the 4a uh, a few months ago, but, uh, and, and yeah. by the way, to very well received because it is the lower price phone. The other thing we'll be watching with interest is the rumors have said that this new Pixel 5 would not be a $1,000 flagship phone, but instead a $700 right. flagship phone, which makes sense. They're really, Google's having a hard time selling these Pixels. Without the carrier deals the other manufacturers have, uh, they're just not getting the attention. I think they probably deserve. I, I don't know about you. The, in, initially, the the Pixel 4 XL, which I have and I know you do, had yeah. issues, but it settled down. And I think it's easily, you know, one of the top three or four Android phones out there. Uh, and it's from Google, which is a huge deal because uh, it means you get the updates and everything sooner than anybody else. Uh, we're all on Android 11, for instance. That, yep. Uh, yep. that new Galaxy Edge Fold 2C thing that you have. Z3265G, <laughs> blah, blah, oh, blah. show yes. off. Has uh, Android two. 10 on it, even though it just came out. Yeah, I know. Well, and that is the big, that is one of the big um, attractions to Google's Pixel devices. I mean, personally, like I use Pixel, yes, because of the updates, but I also use it just because I like the phone. Like it's, it's just, nice it phone. feels nice. Yeah. It's a nice uh, direction, like, direction from a design standpoint. I like the Pixel experience. Um, but yeah, Google just doesn't do an effective job getting this in front of more people than it does. And maybe that's by design. Maybe Google's okay with that, you know, taking a second seat to a backseat to companies like Samsung. I'm not sure, but um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I mean, I think ultimately my confusion lies in the fact that this is a Pixel 5. The Pixel 4a 5G is like a Pixel 5 Lite. So why is it a 4a instead of a 5? I don't know. There's the naming convention thing that I'm just not not down with yet. Maybe Hi, we'll everyone. Find out more. Thanks for tuning in today. Rick 2020 has been an incredibly challenging year for devices. so many reasons. And we hope you and your families are doing okay. Given what's going on today, Google's North Star of being helpful to people feels more important than ever. 
There are a lot of things weighing heavily on people's minds right now, and not everyone has access to some of the usual outlets that bring us comfort and relief. Things like connecting with family and friends, traveling, or even simply going to the movies has been challenging. So today, we want to bring a few of the things we've been working on across Google that we hope will bring a little joy, entertainment, and connection into people's lives. Today, you'll hear from our team about how our devices and services play a unique role in the delivery of Google's helpfulness. Shalini and Isabel will tell you how the new Google TV and Chromecast will change the way people search for and organize so content. Not hiding in any respect. This Mark, is not a live the event. Help of special guest right. Mark Ronson. And not surprising. I mean, we've seen this with the video game uh, announcements. There's the like speaker, the by the way. That music on yeah. really isn't a surprise either. We've even like seen a teaser video. A fraction of what the whole yeah. home audio systems would normally. And the old Google Home form Miami factor has Chicago needed a refresh. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll share <laughs> For a while. Putting the G in 5G. On our two new Pixel phones. Of course, with the departure of Mark Lavoy, the camera guru, uh, there's been a little bit of a issue, <laughs> hardware issues in uh, the Pixel division. Rick Osterloh was very upset last year. We found out just a few months ago about battery life for the Pixel 4. Yeah, rightfully so. <laughs> it was not good. The on the rumor four, is this the four have, was fine. Yeah, the rumor is this will have a very big 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which should help so with that. Grab a snack, Good. get comfortable, have some tea and, and popcorn. First look at our new breakfast. lineup of helpful products. Helpful. Or brush. Hi, Hiroshi. It's Hiroshi. Oh boy, acting. Play launch night yeah. in. <laughs> acting. <laughs> this being. Uh, I like it. They got Mark Ronson. That's cool. He's, of course, a well-known music producer, Selena Gomez, a superstar. <laughs> I'm surprised this whole video didn't leak early. Would have saved us yeah, a, whole, right. <laughs> a lot of trouble. <laughs> and it wouldn't be at all surprising. Google is horrible <laughs> at controlling their leaks, so... Uh, for many families, good on them for controlling TV this, at least. part of entertainment in the home. I remember growing up in India... I always looked forward to Sunday evening when my family no, would Sundar come Pichai, together to watch uh, TV. On this, which is it was usually a Bollywood movie. Mm -hmm. See, usually there on was these... only one channel. It was called I don't know. Russia. I'm sure he's been on some Indian hardware um, announcements, but I feel like the last couple of years we haven't so seen Sundar on that stage. Uh, he's he's usually there for I.O., but not right. necessarily for this YouTube. event. And it's across hundreds of content providers. It can actually take longer to choose something to watch than to watch the content itself. Building on everything we've learned from Android TV, today, I am really excited to introduce Google TV. <laughs> it's just like Android TV, but with a different name. Google-ier. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the interface changes to Google TV um, slash Android TV. I do really like them, and it was definitely much needed. I feel like that interface has worked for Android TV, yeah. uh, but it needed a refresh. It needed something to kind of bring it to life, which you see with a lot of other UIs and like the Netflix app, how it's been refreshed and it really pulls you in. Android TV kind of stagnated there for a while, so I'm happy to see that they paid more attention to you the and interface. I both have Nvidia Shields, which yep. really are the best. They're very expensive, but the best deal in the sense that they've been getting updated year after year after year even my old shield is is yeah, still all the 25 way up updates i think yeah. the last update just recently yeah. was the 25th update Crazy. but i think it's it's priciness really has discouraged a lot of people from what is a great piece of hardware and this chromecast will be of course less expensive um, yeah the one problem that i face on the shield and i suspect this will be so on the chromecast as well is that not all cable companies and not all uh, content providers want to be on Google TV. And that's caused a problem. I can't watch HBO or HBO Max online, even though they showed that logo. Um, it really is up to your cable company to make that deal. ...and a discovery paradigm made just for you. For example, I'm a huge fan of dramas. We'll see how they address that. I would usually that. look within all my different apps to figure out what should I watch. And to be but fair, Roku's TV, had the same problem with... Peacock took right. a long time to make that deal. 
and HBO Max. Yeah, yeah they're showing the HBO Max logo. Pretty I know, I see it. Making it way faster to find something to watch. I did see a rumor yesterday that HBO Max would be 4K on the Chromecast, uh, which would be unique to the Chromecast. So let's let's watch and see that. Oh, okay. Because it is it is 1080p on every other device. Happens to me all the time. Another great feature that we bought to Google TV is a watch list, which gives you one easy place to bookmark movies and shows that you want to save for later. Usually they put the teleprompter on the camera so you don't get this bizarre, I'm looking over your shoulder your effect. Look, <laughs> looking off to the side, yeah. yes. <laughs> Just a, a little tip. You need never miss live events. You can record from your phone as well as get unlimited at? DVR you functionality. Who, you can also play there? music from your favorite services and in ambient mode, turn your TV into your large digital photo frame, showing all the favorite pictures you've taken. It even works with your Nest cameras and doorbells. We will be bringing the Google TV experience to many more streaming devices in the Android TV ecosystem. Today, How many more Google are TV there? Sure. is making its debut on the all new Chromecast. Well, so I wonder, on uh, as far as that's concerned, as far as Google TV is concerned, and the Android TV update, you know, how how rapidly this so ends up being zapped down to um, interfaces like built into TVs that are reliant right. upon Android TV right. and that sort of stuff. Set top boxes maybe getting it a little bit earlier, but it'll be interesting to see how long and if at all those machines, those devices, get that. The biggest news here is the addition of a remote to help you navigate with either your finger or your voice. Previously, you used so your phone to control yeah. your Chromecast. This is a good idea, I think, and much I com completely agree. Like, Chromecast is nice for what it is, but having to rely on it and not having the hardware controller, maybe that makes me old school, but I just really appreciate having the controller on the shield. It just makes things so much easier. It's like, you know, it'll, I know it'll do the thing I needed to do. And I don't have to rely on this weird little like voice entry handoff that happens between my phone and the device. Anything you bring into your home should feel like it's a part of your life and your personality, even remotes. The new Chromecast remote has a floating stance that invites you to pick it up, and it comes in three distinct colors that live naturally in their surroundings. Snow, sky, and sunrise. Snow, sky, and sunrise. We wanted to make oh, the remote boy. as delightful as a bowl of candy. We also have oh, dedicated geez. buttons for today's most popular streaming services like but Netflix please and please don't YouTube eat it. Give you even quicker yeah. access to the content. Not edible. Uh, apparently, if you press and hold the YouTube button, you can choose between YouTube or YouTube TV, which I like because I do watch okay. YouTube TV. Yeah. As your personal yeah, entertainment nice. content curator. And the new Chromecast with Google TV is available today for just forty nine ninety nine. Good in price. The, US, is it, <laughs> the new Chromecast with uh, Google yes, TV today. is available five days ago, or, actually. Or maybe... But, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Open YouTube TV. I'm on the... Uh, Google store and it is not there yet, so maybe you will want to run over They're to just go to Walmart. Walmart. They, they probably sold out already though <laughs> yesterday. We got ABC, we got ACC, Adult Swim, Animal Planet, and AMC. Uh, you can watch BBC America, World News, BET, and Bravo. Why you eating nachos? The chips are looking salty, man. You need a little cheddar. We got tell me, you're, tell me you're not going to go through the entire alphabet. NBC, CNN, I'm jiggling at Comedy Central so hard. I watch it again. Comic Court closing in Discovery and Disney. Watch a little even get celebrity news. Four different ESPN channels, Food Network to brush up on your recipes too. Mac Lethal is of course famous for fast I mean, it is impressive. It looks painful. Yeah. yeah, how large is the glass of water that you take both before and after doing this? This feels like last night's debate, actually. <laughs> well, Leo, you would know. I, I avoided it. I actually got done putting the girls to bed, and I sat down on the couch to do some work. I was like, maybe I'll put on the debate. And then I thought for a second, maybe I won't. Channel called NBC. Check it out. What little I did see, though, I think you're spot on. That was very. You saw, that you was saw very enough. much like. Yeah. You, you saw it's it. like two minutes. Saw two minutes. You pretty much saw the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm a fan of the Nest uh, yeah, the, devices. Uh, I don't know what to call them, the home hub uh, things. Yep. 
um, yeah. Nest Tubs. I have, no idea. I have the little one and the big one, and uh, I like them. Yeah, I, I'm sure that I would like them uh, in my life if I didn't have two kids that would be completely allured by the yeah. fact that there's an yeah. open like YouTube uh, right. vector. Yeah, that you can talk to. In the kitchen. And it's got a camera on it. And, yeah. 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 Actually, our kid, who's a senior in high school, puts it face down. He doesn't like the camera. Oh, really? <laughs> He's not allured by it in the least. Kind of Here's Mark Ronson. <laughs> you go away. Back from the Beatles and Motown, they have a sound. And it's such my childhood. The 808 drum machine. K-pop. Analog and digital. So many great songs. Hey, Google. Personality. Times a million. All right. Awesome. That's Mark's already winning. Mark's very so relaxed. This is Mark Spates. And I'm the product. Really of looks like a... Uh, a a Google Home Max shrunk down, yeah, right? That kind of like large pill form factor. I think this is the market. I think Amazon realized this as well. But people don't want the tinny little thing, even though it's cheap. Uh, they want something that has a good enough speaker you can listen to music on it. Yeah. But they still yeah. want it compact and, and inexpensive. I mean, the tinny, tinny little thing certainly has its place, uh, namely our kids' bedrooms. Right. <laughs> they're, prof they're fine with 99 it. 99 bucks, good price. But yeah. That's okay. see there you go it's you know okay it's three times more it's than a dot numbers. say One definitely a, yeah step up other nest speakers and displays and it can be the I'd love to hear the sound quality on this too and yeah. see how it compares to the original uh, the original kind of like uh, the Max is excellent I was I still have the Max uh, oh yeah the Max and is listen fantastic. all the time it's yeah. it's arguably as good as uh, Apple's HomePod. And, it, you know, the problem is, of course, a smaller speaker just isn't going to have the same oomph as a bigger speaker. But, yeah. but the fact that you can pair them, do a stereo pair yep. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm curious on the design on this, how it how it uh, does on the low end. You of course, know, as, the, as you know, this whole issue of um, multi-room sound is controversial. Sonos is suing Google, uh, saying they, hey, they took it from us. Hmm. So you're probably wondering. How are Good luck putting that genie back in the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> We're invited our friend. Mark uh, five wireless a... audio patents they sued him yesterday. I would love for you to test out mm -hmm. this audio on one of your favorite songs and see if it really brings it to life. Well, I wouldn't mind hearing yeah, something that I make because I'm familiar with it so I can really particular. Like, speak and enjoy it for what it is. That's Google, right, Mark. Valerie by Mark Ronson and uh, Amy Winehouse. Okay, why not? All right, Valerie Fee, Amy Winehouse, version revisited by Mark Ronson. Playing on YouTube music. Uh, even on our speakers, that's pretty good bass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious about this. The all fabric form factor is a little bit of a downside depending on where you want to put this. Don't put this in the kitchen. You know uh -huh. what I mean? It'll hold grease. Yep. Yeah, it's going to catch speaker, some splash and it's never going to come out. You know, the drums are a little bit to the left, the piano in the center, and it has like a very warm sound to it. What's unique about sound is it's personal. Um, it's very subjective. Uh, the way that I like to listen to one song in a verse is the way that you like to hear it. I love to put my ear up next to the speaker because I've been doing that since I was three years old. Like this the whole time, like planting myself down next to the speakers. Kind of just want to get lost in it. So I want to feel the sound, like whether the speaker is this big, this big. I just want to feel the sound. I came from an era sure where is relaxed. two speakers yeah, and a turntable going to it to <laughs> listen to music. And if you wanted to listen to music in the kitchen, it meant that you had to turn it up really loud in the living room. And then, you know, that doesn't go down so well with the neighbors. We end up having a lot more dance parties at home, either Little Baby or Bossa Nova is my dish music. I like the combo. That's you're, you're, you're a bad boy. <laughs> it's the same thing. Either you're really chill, right? Or you, you need a little bit of energy. I love that not only are you an artist and, and you're passionate about music, but I think your creativity goes far beyond that. When you're in your process and you're creating, um, how does the actual artist play into the way that you produce the music for them? You're just always trying to make everything tailor-made perfectly to that artist. So if you're in the studio, it doesn't matter if it's Amy Winehouse or Ghostface Killer or... Every time you say Ghostface Killer, it makes me smile because I can just think like new, uh, so Chromecast many great Chromecast is $20 less than the... Great previous Chromecast Vocal Ultra, so sort of Google's historically okay. really been aggressive sure on Chromecast pricing. It, uh, so it felt like they'd abandoned the, the category for a while, so I'm glad to see something new from them. I'd the be curious uh, to see if how or if this uh, this dongle is Stadia uh, compatible. 
I mean, I imagine it would be, but Android yeah. TV is not. They included, Android TV officially is not Stadia compatible. They included Chromecast Ultra, though, in that Pro bundle for Stadia, so... Yeah, uh, so I would think, I would so, think so, but this but, now has yeah. Google TV embedded in it, so how does that intertwine? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Hey, Google, play Todd Rundgren, I Saw the Light. All right, I Saw the Light by Todd Rundgren, playing on YouTube Music. Well, that was fun. As you heard, Nest Audio is a Hold smart on, speaker smart. designed for everyone who loves it. really doesn't feel like it's coming out of a speaker at all. It sounds stereo. Yeah. Let's check 99 bucks, bucks. October 5th. Using Nest Audio to create a whole home audio experience. All right. I'd love to, I'd be curious to hear how it sounds um, because I, I think that that taller form factor speaker needed a, a sound upgrade. Hey, okay. Google, play some music on YouTube music. Hey, Google, move the music to the living room pair. Hey, Google, move the music to the whole home group. This is that multi-room sound, which also, frankly, is what Sonos is... Uh, really whole selling point was and I can understand yeah. what Sonos is suing uh, if if in fact this technology was taken from Sonos right certainly a threat to Sonos absolutely big time threat I mean they, they you know Sonos has that tech has had that technology but also a pretty hefty price tag for right. that technology and now Google comes to me in. <laughs> <laughs> the last couple of years, it's like, here's a little $25 puck that does the same thing. Sure, the sound's not quite there, but maybe you don't need it. Maybe it's good enough. I should you know, point it certainly out has been for us. that ganging multiple small speakers together does not make them sound better. Uh, no, you're very still true. limited by the <laughs> physics of the, of the enclosure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely there's true. Juice. Hey, LJ, what song do you want to play next on YouTube? I do have to say that the uh, Google Home Max speaker has excellent bass. But again, it's a mm -hmm. much bigger speaker. It is. Here comes Selena YouTube Gomez. YouTube Music is the world of speaker. music dedicated to you guys with over 70 million songs. YouTube Music is showing people different options, but also music that we would never have heard. It was funny because the other day I was like, you know what, now let's do like a French song and everyone's like, no. I'm like, I'm trying to like cover all my bases. I'm a Latin girl. And I think because my dad had so much of that connection, that's evolved as well into something crazy. The top songs in the world are in Spanish. I definitely like to listen to romantic music. Ella Fitzgerald and uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. I Hope You Dance by Leanne Womack, and that's because of my Nana. Like, cooking is usually very calm, like very Etta James. You know, then I'll be in a whole Bob Dylan phase and those classic 80s or like 70s hits. I think we have some of the best lyricists in the game right now. Dua and um, Ariana, Taylor, Demi. These artists are just lifting up the game with these lyrics. It makes me so happy. It's just that one line that gets you in a song where you're like, Ooh, wait, I gotta write that down. My best friend is her boyfriend you is in a YouTube band music called music Goodbye very much. I, I am a paying subscriber. The playlist they'll play. And while it, you know, it's taken a while, I think it's getting better and better. I think the, you know, the recommendation now, one of the things it does that I like is uh, you can have, it will create a playlist for you that you can then uh, download of music based on your tastes. And that's usually pretty good. I think it's features like that. You know, that's what Spotify does so well is their Discover Weekly and all that. It's features like that that I think um, make these attractive. YouTube calls it your mix, endless personalized right. music, and uh, I, you know, it's not perfect for me, but it's it's okay, and I think it's a it's a good start. Um, 
you know, they have some curated stuff. They have a Discover mix every Wednesday and new release mix every Friday. So, yeah, it's very, it's very, uh, leans very heavily into the mix, the dynamic mix right. uh, avenue. Right. And, uh, and sometimes I just want a better recommendation engine around like albums versus right. just like, right. you know, all library mixes or, or whatever. I also feel like maybe my, my recommendation engine is polluted because my music service is shared with three other people in the house. Uh, so that might so, explain why recommended playlists include Southern rappers just want to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know uh, I on mine. Like uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe influenced a little by my kids. <laughs> we'll have more from the Google event. We're taking a little break here to uh, remind you about our sponsor, LastPass. Of course, LastPass is the best password manager out there, one I've used for more than a decade, Steve Gibson, too. And uh, for more than five years now, we've been using it here at Twit, LastPass Enterprise. That's a really big issue for companies because you're sending employees home no longer under the protection of the corporate network. And who knows? <laughs> what security uh, gaps there will be out there in the real world. Uh, LastPass surveyed 700 IT and security professionals uh, from industries ranging from financial services to IT and retail. Almost all of them said that their business, 82% said their business had been exposed to a risk due to poor identity and access management. It, it really is the front line on protecting yourself. That's why we love LastPass. Of course, it starts with secure password storage. AES 256-bit encryption. Uh, the, your vault is never decrypted anywhere but on your devices. So you don't ever have to worry. In fact, they use techniques like PBKDF2 to make it almost impossible to brute force your master password. Your master password, by the way, never transmitted anywhere off your device, not even to LastPass itself. So that's the start, but it's just the beginning. LastPass makes it safe and easy for employees to share logins not via text message or email where they could be snarfed up, but 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 within LastPass, keeping your access to corporate data safe. They do single sign-on now, 1,300-plus apps with more coming all the time, which makes it so easy for your employees, so convenient. It's already more convenient because they've got LastPass with its autofill feature, but single sign-on takes it to the next step. Just say yes on your smartphone, you're in. And, of course, the most important thing from your point of view is IT always has insight into who has access to what, from where, and when. You know exactly who's using your precious company resources. Enterprise password management ensures oversight of shadow IT. You get enforceable policies across all password-protected accounts. They offer beyond biometric multi-factor, beyond fingerprint and, fa and face recognition. They also have contextual factors like geolocation and IP address. Working remotely should be more convenient, not more frustrating. And with LastPass, it's also more secure. You're going to love Last LastPass. It's what we've been using for years, and I want you to try it. No wonder it's the number one password manager. Go to lastpass.com slash twit. Let LastPass securely manage your user's identity, letting your employees work efficiently without making your business vulnerable to cyber threats. LastPass.com slash twit we're gonna have a really fun last pass event uh next week i think it's october 8th a week from thursday uh, stay tuned for details on that it's going to be an attack and defend with some really fun people trying to hack each other <laughs> uh i can't wait to see father robert balasser versus uh bruce schneier and attack and defense. That's going to be something to watch. Brian Chi will be there. Jerry Bukelt, the uh, CISO from uh, LogMeIn. Really great panel. Stay tuned for details. Now, let's, let's get back to see if Google has anything else to say. And today, we're introducing the 5G version. I like Pixel the ghost 4A bucks. 5G. Well, here we go. Okay, the ghost With bucks. Pixel 4a 5G, you get the best of 4a as a 5G experience. It has a larger edge-to-edge -edge OLED display and a more powerful battery. The Pixel A Are they series comparing has it to always the been about making original 4A. As affordable See, as that's, this is my big and question here. Is it, it? Do you compare this to the 4A, or do you compare it to the 5? The uh, 4A 5G this and the 5, from what I understand, have the same dollars. processor in them. Really? Well, we 499. People also want more with their phone, so we're introducing the new Pixel 5. 
which brings together the best of Google's 5G experiences with water resistance, eight gigabytes of RAM, and wireless and reverse wireless charging. So you can use it wow. with your Pixel stand. Just kinda, or there it is, six ninety nine. They're just kind of laying this out. In addition to the <laughs> hardware, yeah. what really makes they're not the saying which processor. Incredible is the software. No, they're not dancing Five around this stuff. The but they're also not diving very deeply. Right. Faster, but people want more than just speed. Speed is still a big part of it. For this example, is essentially you can an download ad, a movie and, and that's really what these announced events and have turned into. And you're also optimizing into. video streaming yep. quality in both photos and YouTube for 5G speeds. But then with Wi-Fi features like smart downloads on 5G, your YouTube music playlists are proactively downloaded. So even when you don't have connectivity, your entertainment continues seamlessly. 5G and Google Duo can make connecting with friends and family more engaging and entertaining. Not only can it's you a shame that all these phone game. companies feel compelled to uh, create 5G products when most people aren't going to see any benefit to 5G no. if they can even get it. If they can even get it. My 5G lights up all the time and the speed is never any You're on AT&T, aren't you? <laughs> I'm on Mint, actually. Oh, Mint. So the, yeah, so you so have the T-Mobile AT&T. The T-Mobile, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so their 600 um, megahertz uh, is much more widely spread, the low band 5G, but it's not much faster. No. If at all. Wherever you are. If at all, that's been my experience, yeah. Places at home or on the go. No more waiting for game downloads or updates. Pick up your Pixel and play instantly. Oh, there's your Stadia. Some people think that to get mm -hmm. all the benefits of 5G at an affordable price, there needs to be a compromise on some of our core features like camera. But that's not true. Pixel 5 and Pixel 4a 5G share the same front and rear camera wow. system. This is very it's interesting. Our best one yet. Starting with the hardware, we've put a new ultra-wide lens in the back, and HDR Plus has received a serious So really, upgrade, it's, mixing Google it's a 5A. With traditional yes, in that, a way. That, that's exactly it. That's that's my confusion. I don't understand why then they went the 4A 5G. I feel like it just makes it... I don't know. I, there, there must have been something weird with how this... Well, there is. The pandemic you know, really changed a lot of things. I wonder if that was a pressure here for them to release what they had with the 4A... You know what I mean? Maybe there was a time a timetable adjustment that they had to make that they ended up in this in this scenario. It right. kind of just seems like it should be a Pixel Five Lite or a Pixel Five A. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there will be a Pixel Five A, but it begs the question: what What will that be? Yeah. Right. So my kids love making s'mores. We have not been able to camp this year. And so we've been doing them so in the So this phone is so hot, you can actually make s'mores with it. That's exciting. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not. It's the camera. I apologize. It does look like she's got a 5G <laughs> pixel in there, but it's not as tasty as chocolate. S'more on their stick. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> we improve portrait mode with a new feature we call portrait light. We know you can't always get good lighting. That's why with portrait light, you can illuminate your portraits even when you're backlit against a beautiful sunset or have a harsh shadow on your face from the bright sun above you. Looks because like you we use AI to solve this problem, you can even apply this light lighting source, effect in the newly redesigned Google Photos editor to a portrait you took five years ago. One other thing we heard from our users is how much they want to be able to capture beautiful videos. To that end, we've added three new stabilization modes, locked, active, and cinematic pan. We also noticed that a lot of top YouTube videos for videography what are tutorials are on exactly this. So we studied the best tips from YouTube as well as from Hollywood directors to create cinematic pan. Cinematic pan lets you make the everyday look like a movie. It creates sweeping dramatic Hollywood effects through stabilizing and slowing down the motion by 2x. And we're also launching Extreme Battery Saver that lets you decide what essential apps you want to keep on while everything else gets paused. It helps you increase your battery life for up to Samsung 48 hours when you need it the most. Feature where you With can prioritize phones, certain apps. Three years of Android sure. OS this is the most apps. important reason to buy a and Pixel. Titan M chip helps to keep your operating system. Well, and so they're saying three years of, of system and security. Are they then saying that three years of major updates? Because That's what it I, sounds like. Wasn't it before it was two years of major updates and then a third year of security, security. updates? Yeah. So maybe yeah. that is an improvement. 
I mean, Honestly, I mean, and this is what Samsung promised, like you said, right. just not very long ago. So Google would have to keep up if they want to yeah. continue to reign supreme or at least be seen at the top of the heap as far as updates are concerned. Build on the smarts of duplex and call screen to help save you time. Google Assistant will wait on hold for you and alert you when someone comes That's on the nice. line I and like is that. ready to speak to you. Love that. Mm. So we know when people mm. buy phones, they really want their phone to last a long time. And they want to make sure that their phone stays up to date and has the latest and greatest and newest features. So with Pixel, we have feature drops that do exactly that. And they're always bringing the latest and newest technology back to your existing Pixel as soon as they're ready. For example, Extreme Battery Saver and Hold For Me are going to be coming to older generation Pixels very soon. And we think this is great from both a user kind of value perspective as well as from a sustainability perspective of being able to hold on to and use your phone for longer. And for those of you who will be purchasing one of our new 5G phones, you'll be getting even more. Three months of Stadia Pro, YouTube Premium, 100 gigabytes of storage with Google One, and Play Pass and Play Points all on us. We're really looking forward to you experiencing these new 5G phones and how helpful they can be for yourself. They bring together the best of Google software, new 5G experiences that go beyond speed, and the latest in computational photography to help you capture your special memories. And they start at only $499. All right, $499 for the 4A 5G. Six ninety nine oh, for the Pixel we Five. Still announcing in here? October fifth availability. Outside. I missed that. That's what that said. I think. Oh shoot! I missed that too. Yeah. Um, I I believe that's the case though. I think it's. Beautiful part. Sunny day. Very soon. But I'm not worried though, because I can see everything I have a on weird this Pixel Four A Five G edge to edge display. We're getting this exclusive look at Immortals Phoenix Rising on Stadia. People don't. New Ubisoft title they just announced earlier this month. Looks crispy. Look at this wasabi They're color up control. on the store. Oh, good. Okay, hold up, Cyclops. Hold up, Cyclops. <laughs> you trying to get you trying to throw columns at me? You trying to throw columns? Come on, my boy. Now, it's not going to work. I thought you could only get high frame rates on consoles, but with Stadia on the Pixel 4A 5G, you can get it on the go, too. What? Yeah, they are taking like pre-orders for the Pixel 5 What now. if I told you you could play mm -hmm. a demo of Immortals Phoenix Rising? This fall, when it releases exclusively on Stadia. Verizon. Until then, though, works with Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband. Awesome games with the Google Stadia Fi Pro Unlocked Pro. and That's Unlocked that works about. with all major now, not today, bro. carriers. Not today, bro. That's right. That's what I'm talking. Woo! Nailed it. All right, Rick. Oh my I'm goodness! Extreme. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show. Wow. We're really That's excited right. Half about an hour, huh? TV and how it can help Very you find Very lightweight. We did you not, uh, no surprises Thanks to Mark at all. Bronson for putting Nest Audio no, through its nothing. paces. <laughs> no helping surprises. us showcase its great uh, Literally knew everything. Again, the Just and Black the and Pixel, Sorta Sage, which is their kind of Google greenish and 5G back. Available to yeah, I like that green color, that nice yeah. subtle green I'd color. Like Actually, I should I should uh, say I had not heard about some of the software features. Hold For Me, Extreme Battery Saver. They are like game-changing features no, but, nice. you know, at, yeah. but yeah but kind of continue on with what google does you know they they do create some really great software um features for these pixel phones so it's good that they're they're including that here considering how understated this this show the uh, uh, show the credits devices here. are <laughs> <They're>, uh <laughs> oh. did you enjoy your google short <laughs> uh uh, I'm trying to figure out what this is, what's going on here. Oh, just what what devices were in each clip? Yeah, uh, nice blooper roll. Yeah, okay. I'm All right. so high right now. <laughs> uh, okay. Is there one more thing after the credits? No. A surprise? Half an hour yeah. exactly. Uh, well, very light on uh, detail. Uh, yeah. Especially since we already knew everything. Uh, nothing new. Uh, no. There, there you have it, folks. <laughs> uh, you, you nailed the two new features. Hold for me, which is great. Uh, I think a lot of people will love that. And uh, the background app, choosing uh, prioritizing apps so that you get better battery life. Nice. A couple of camera features as well, right? They mentioned the uh, the video pans, uh, the different video um, yeah, stabilization the options. Yeah, yeah. 
and everything, which I mean, you know, at this point, Google is so known for their camera, not not just that main lens that they continue to use that 12.2 megapixel lens that they've used for years now because it's just great, but also their software, their computational stuff going on behind the scenes. So they have to include a few of those those uh, those crumbs in if in you know in a in a new release of a phone, uh, people are just kind of expecting that. But one thing I find interesting is the choice to go with the ultra wide instead of the telephoto. They did the telephoto last year, and uh, on the stage mentioned like you know we just find the telephoto to be more usable than an ultra wide, and yet here we are a year later. <laughs> Uh, Google's offering me uh, three hundred sixty-five dollars to trade in my four XL in good condition with one hundred twenty-eight gigs, all carriers unlocked. Uh, nice. So uh, the, that's a pretty good deal. It means it brings yeah. the cost of my phone down to about three hundred thirty dollars um, of the new five, uh, given the mm -hmm. trade in. So I think that's mm -hmm. pretty good. Didn't give me the option good. to trade in. It had to blurt out, but I had traded in. Maybe on you only get previous. to do that once in a while. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, huh, that's a bummer. <laughs> right. uh, um, so, and I would like, is the Chromecast available now? I would very much like to get it's, that. It's got to be. Um, I mean, if it's already in the stores, <laughs> I'd be really surprised if they kept it out of the Here's the some Google. of the uh, accessories, the Pixel Buds. Don't buy those. The Pixel yeah. Stand, don't buy though. They haven't fixed many of the problems. Uh, they've got these crazy fabric cases that they're famous for. Um, they all look a little bit, you know, kind of nappy, like they, they, like they're a little bit pre-worn. Um, okay. There you I, go. Yeah, I've done the fabric cases the last couple of years. And uh, the first year, I really liked mine. The last one that I got, it just wore like really, uh, like I uh, just got really dirty and uh, yeah. really hard to keep it clean. Yeah. So you got to be careful. If you're going with the fabric, you got to ah, clean it. The or, Chromecast or the has, right one. The store has been updated now. 49 bucks, I think, uh, is a really mm. good price for this Chromecast. So you get it with Google TV for $50 in three different colors. If you want it uh, with six months of Netflix. Now, see, this is a little disappointment because I had heard they were going to bundle six months of Netflix, and they are for an additional $40. So that's about oh. 20 bucks off. So, oh, okay. oh, out of stock already on the blue. So I guess it's up to me to get a pink or a white one. <laughs> I'm definitely not getting a pink Chromecast. Sorry, kids. Let's just... Let, is oh, it a come salmon? on. It's just behind the TV. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Delivery. Uh, if I if I pay an extra $20, I can get it October 5th or 6th instead of October 8th and 9th. You know, well, at least you don't have to wait that long. Uh, I suppose. That's a big hurry. Either way. So. Either way. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, boy, I couldn't be more uh, excited. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Let me tell you, I am incredibly thrilled. I am Mark Ronson excited. Right. That's how excited <laughs> I, I mean, am. I mean, which is not to say that Google didn't create some and and talk about some interesting products, that, that, but but again, it it becomes kind of difficult to get really excited at, for an announcement when literally everything is known and you know for weeks on end prior, which it just continues to be the case. I'm sure I'm going to get this Pixel 5 and be as happy with it as I usually am with Pixel devices. It's not like but it's a bad device. this is the question. If you have a Pixel 4, uh, yeah. it, it, how is different it, is it? By the way, they didn't make yeah. the, the – they don't do the 5 and the 5XL. Right. It's just one. That's true. Yep. There's no smaller one. I guess uh, – I don't – it's very odd. It seems yeah. like an odd, almost uh, – uh, indifferent product release like yeah here you know i guess you wanted this so yeah so here, here you go and here we, go. we created this half hour thing for you if you want to watch it put on our socks and enjoy <laughs> yeah it's yeah, it almost is like google lost very its mojo very like they're not they're not they're not competing they're just yeah i guess we have to make a phone this is kind of my problem with google across the board there just seems to be no uh, energy uh, in mm -hmm. what Google's up to. It just seems like they're putting in the time. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it really does feel that way. Um, I would, I would completely agree with you. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to to play around with the phones. Uh, and well, I mean, like I said, every one of these devices, I'd be curious to play around with. But I don't leave this event going, oh, my God, did you see that? That was amazing. Especially because they really didn't like this was not a deep dive presentation. Not at, at all. all. We they still really, don't know what processor. I it mean, was we very know what surface. the rumors say, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a very surface level um, announcement, but um, you know I think these companies are are playing around with different formats. It's a very interesting time right now, and so it's kind of like, okay, well, what what exactly do do we need to do? Are we over, have we been overdoing it, and this is just good enough? I mean, they could have gone one step lower and just done a press release, but <laughs> instead they got a little bit of excitement around these devices with a, a little event. So yeah, I don't know, could be worse. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, Jason, thank you for uh, get putting your socks on. Yeah. And, well, you know, uh, I don't have the Google socks, so I put on socks with dogs on them. I saw I on Twitter. I want, yeah. I wanted to feel part of the party. You know? <laughs> uh, I'm probably wearing Mint Mobile socks. Actually, I am. So <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. There you go. Uh, thank you, Leo. This is a lot of fun. Thank you, Jason. How all about Android? Of course, we'll have more commentary on Tuesday all about this, and we'll continue to cover. And Jason, please go ahead and get whatever you need. I did just order the Chromecast. I have to really think whether I should even get a i'll wait until your review whether i should five. upgrade from the 4xl uh to the five um yeah seven the qualcomm snapdragon 765g yep uh running at 2.4 gigahertz uh 64 bit octa core adreno 620 titan m security model i think that it is a faster processor so if you go to the store you can get the specs but you have to go to the store to see I'll let I mean, you tell me some... if if it's a if it's an upgrade from the four XL. Yeah, I mean, and that's my big my big question because when you when you're talking about internals, it's not like the four XL was the most premium uh, flagship device out there, but it was still running the most current processor available from Snap from Qualcomm. Right, and it's still it's still kind of treat, thought of itself as a premium device, and this one is priced lower. Uh, the internals are a little bit lower in some in some cases. In some cases, they're better than what we got last year. It's a total mixed bag, and yeah. I'll be really curious to see. I mean, the the good news is this year we've seen a lot of movement, a lot of energy in the mid range processors like the 765G that right. just are are good enough and do do a great job. And right. if you didn't even know what was in there, you wouldn't bat an eye. It would still be good enough for you, and you wouldn't think twice. So. At least there's that. At least Google has read the room a little bit to be like, well, maybe we don't need to put out a $1,200 phone. I, I don't think they really – their power is not in competing in that price range. Their yeah. power is is a little bit more in the value and quality, and I think that's where they're trying to hit here. And it will be interesting to see if they did that successfully. Well, it it, uh, it didn't knock my socks off. It actually put my socks yeah. on. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of in a nutshell. Thank you, Jason yeah. Howell. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, we you will fun, uh, yeah. see you soon. Enjoy yeah. the fold. I'm looking forward to your review of that as well. You got a, a little. You got your work cut out for you. <laughs> yes, I do, but I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. And uh, Jason will so, be thank back you for first it, on Tech News Weekly uh, on Thursday. Thank yeah. you, everybody, for joining us. This concludes our coverage. Mm. Well, maybe that's what they call it launch night. It's kind of. Uh, I, I feel like going to bed now of the, <laughs> the Google Launch Night in 2020. Take care.